this is a tip, not just for patients, but other providers out there. I'm working with patients like this every day. Alpha-2 agonists, guanfacine, for instance, is a very useful medication to augment stimulants and also, by the way, treat anxiety. Now, how do alpha-2 agonists, how do those work and how do they potentially soften or augment um, stimulants in ADHD? So the alpha-2 agonists work within the brain, again, to kind of promote a sense of calming down what we describe as central hyperarousal. Mm -hmm. So um, essentially it affects, impacts the brain in a way that can reduce anxiety, it can reduce a sense of alertness, mm -hmm. it can reduce a sense of edginess that can help people, you know, help mitigate some of those symptoms that you may see with a stimulant. So traditionally it's used as a blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. um, we use them in a wide range of psychiatric illnesses, not only ADHD, but also other things like other neurodevelopmental disorders, such mm -hmm. as impulse control disorders mm -hmm. in children, for example, they can help people mitigate their irritability, their um, kind of uh, emotional dysregulation, for yeah. example. They can help people just kind of feel calmer in general. Now, your alpha system, it's your alpha adrenergic system. It is where adrenaline and noradrenaline can bind onto those alpha receptors, causing a variety of feelings or symptoms or effects. Hyper arousal, like you mentioned, mm. constriction of blood vessels. It helps soften stimulants because it can help kind of relax the body while a stimulant who is kind of tensing the body is in effect. 